Hello and welcome. In this week's video, I'm going to take this wall that currently looks like a mix between a college dorm and a toddler daycare and show you how I organized it and created a beautiful entertainment center using the IKEA Hasta cabinets. The first step in working with any IKEA furniture is assembly, and this is something I'm very familiar with. I have put together many pieces of IKEA furniture over the years, and these cabinets specifically I am very familiar with. Uh, last year I upgraded our office in our old house, and I actually had these same cabinet system, I'm only in a different color for that, so I am pretty familiar with how it gets put together. They are a little bit more complicated than say their uh, simplistic Billy bookcase, but that's also another reason why I really like them. I feel like these are a little bit higher quality than their particle board um, furniture pieces because these are all solid wood. So I am happy to take the time to put these together. If you're new here, just wanted to take a moment to introduce myself. Hello, my name is Samantha. Thank you so much for clicking on this week's video. I'm so happy to have you here. If you're new here, my family and I recently made a move from New Jersey down here to Georgia, and I shared all about that process along with all of you on this channel. And this video, along with several others, is just us unpacking and getting settled into our rental house down here. So full disclosure, this was actually not my first choice for cabinets or for the entertainment center in general. We actually went back and forth quite a bit about what we wanted to do on that wall. We were trying to decide if we wanted to purchase a small, you know, TV stand to put the TV on and just call it a day, or if we wanted to get a larger entertainment center, which is something I kind of always wanted. You know, this being a rental, we are going to be in the process of searching for a house and we don't really know what the TV setup's gonna look like at the other house. So we also didn't want to spend a lot of money and we did a lot of back and forth. Uh, we did go to furniture stores and try to see what they had in stock and then being the current state of everything in the world, everything is on back order and just it's going to take way too long to come in or they just didn't have it in what we we're looking for or it was way outside the budget. We just weren't finding anything. So that's why I turned to Ikea to kind of see what they had. Even with them, I struggled with what they had in stock. I went through several different layouts and designs. I actually started with the Hemnes hope I say that correctly, uh, system because it's really beautiful and they had sort of a two-tone of white and wood look that I really loved and I thought I had picked everything out and then found out that one of the pieces wasn't in stock so I went back and forth quite a bit but you know I'm really happy everything kind of fell into place with these cabinets because it is a modular system and because it's solid wood so when we do purchase a house if this is not something that's going to work with our TV setup in our new house we can do a few things we can take it apart and use pieces of it we can move it to different parts of the house if I need it in a different room and I don't want the white anymore, I can easily retain them to another color. So they're super versatile. So I didn't mind spending a little bit of extra money on these specific cabinets because I know that we're going to get a ton of function out of them both now and in the future. Plus, I know how much these bottom bookcases can hold because I had it in my office and they store a ton and that's something we're lacking here in our rental is storage. So it's really a win-win-win all around for us for these cabinets. After finishing the first cabinet earlier in the day, I had to stop and take care of some other stuff around the house and my daughter. So after she went to bed, Adam jumped in and finished um, helping me assemble the rest of the lower cabinets. <music> 
So we had to figure out exactly where we wanted to place the whole system on the wall. Ideally, you'd want it centered. Um, you can't really tell by the shot up on the left-hand side. It's actually a little catwalk for the upstairs hallway that kind of cuts into the visuals of the wall if you're sitting on the couch. Plus, the couch isn't exactly centered on that wall. So what we decided to do was center everything between where the catwalk ended and the wall on the other side. And it worked out really well in terms of lining up with where our couch is. So now I'm just working on putting together the top half of the bookcases. I went back and forth about putting doors on the top half and honestly it came down to the fact of what they had in stock. Um, I really like putting glass doors and putting things on display behind those doors because it keeps the dust out and the cleaning a lot easier. Uh, but they didn't have what I wanted in stock so we went with the open shelving look. Yeah, no, you gotta eat more, sweetheart. These cabinet tops to the bottoms actually attach really easily uh, with some small uh, white plastic pieces and they were really easy to install. So here we are about halfway through putting it all together, probably more than halfway. We still have to put the doors on, but before we do that, my husband Adam's actually going to attach the cabinets to each other so that the whole thing is more sturdy um, and it's easier to do that without doors. So I'm going to wait to do anything else until he can attach the cabinets together. So Adam is just going to take some wood screws and a patch a couple at the top and the bottom of each unit. So right now he's just going to pre-drill the hole so he doesn't split the wood and then drive the screw in. Two more screws, please. I want screws. Can I have two? I want screws. I want screws. You want screws? Yeah. One screw. Can I have another screw? Yeah. Just three. Two. Two. <laughs> Just three. Sure. Thank you. You're the best. <laughs> Now that all 
all the bases have been attached together to make one big unit with the help of arguably the cutest assistant in the world. Um, it's time to hang the doors. I'm not really great with cabinet doors. The hardware, I know you can make slight adjustments in and out and up and down so that they're even and lay flat. And I just always struggle with it. So I just got them all assembled and put onto the cabinet. And then Adam came through afterwards and did all of the slight adjustments to make sure they looked nice and even. I'm going to be using the knobs that came with the cabinets just for budget sake and I'm not really sure if I'd ever want to change them out. They're really cute and simple um, and who knows, I mean maybe in the next house depending on what hardware we pick I might um, change them out then but I'm going to keep them for now. Now the stuff I'm unpacking onto the open shelvings in terms of decor are just items that made it to the house and are not in the storage unit. There wasn't a ton of rhyme or reason um, between what I picked went into storage versus came to the house. I just put a lot of it into the storage because I just didn't know, you know what we were going to be working with. So what you see me putting on the shelves is just kind of what I have on hand. It may not stay that way. I'm sure I'll rearrange it many times over, um, but at least it's getting something really nice and beautiful up on the shelves for now. So just a reminder, this is what it looked like before. And this is what it looks like after. I am obsessed with this. I am so happy with how it turned out. I feel like it looks so much more expensive than it was. And it reminds me so much of those super expensive big entertainment centers that you see in um, you know, expensive stores like Pottery Barn. And I am just loving the amount of storage that they have and the versatility. So I am so happy with how this turned out.